everyone. I'm so happy to be with you this evening. I've had such a busy day, so this is such a pleasure to be spending time with you this evening and just winding down and being able to do a craft together. So I have a really cool craft that we are going to be doing together. Here is one I made earlier. I'm not sure if you can tell what it is, but this is a pumpkin. Now I've written engage on all of these because of our engage ministries. That is the name of our children's ministry at Grace United Methodist Church. And so we've got the leaves on the top and we've got the shape of a pumpkin. So I thought we would attempt to do this together, boys and girls. Right, I have two different kinds of paper, two different colors. And you can use whatever you have around your house. That's what I want a lot of these crafts to be easy enough for you to be able to access things that you can find around your house. So even if you can't find any paper, you could maybe cut up a cereal box or I don't know, some kind of packaging. I'm sure you can come up with something. I know you're a very creative bunch. So obviously you need to ask your parents before or guardians before you go and cut things up. But here are my options this evening. I have a red piece of paper. I know pumpkins aren't red, but this is as close to orange as I could get. As I said, we're working with what we have and we have a white piece of paper. Now, uh, let me show you all the things we're going to use and then I'm gonna scoot you, scoot you backwards so that you can see me doing the craft. I have a crayon, orange crayon and a green crayon I have a stapler that I can use, or instead of a stapler, I also have other options like tape, a glue stick, or the glue that you can get in a bottle. Um, also, if you can't find the right color crayons, you could use paint also, but obviously that would take a little bit longer to dry. Um, I was going to use these until, because my staplers decided to go for a walk until about five minutes ago when I found it. Well, actually, my son found it. So um, I was going to use these clips to hold my pumpkin together. But thank goodness my son is a very good finder and found our stapler. So I'm going to scoot you back and scoot you down so you can see what I am up to. So we have these two pieces of paper right here. If you were going to use um, the white paper and you wanted an orange pumpkin, I would suggest, now I'm not sure if your parents would allow you to take the paper off of your crayon, but if you are allowed to take your paper off of a crayon, you could kind of rub it like this over the paper. If not, you could just take a crayon and just color, it doesn't have to be neat and tidy, you can just color in this paper until it's orange. And as I said, it doesn't have to be neat and tidy. In fact, I think it would look really cool if you did maybe different designs on it back and forth, as long as it's got some color to it. Can you see how I did that? So you could use, that will turn it into an orange pumpkin or the red one. Let's go with, hmm, we'll use the red one for now. What I'm going to do is cut strips of paper. So, see how I'm doing this? Now, of course, ask your parents or guardians if you can use scissors. So from this piece of paper, I am cutting strips of paper, and it doesn't matter how many you cut. Just make sure that you cut enough strips and they don't have to be exactly the same size. Each pumpkin is different. Each pumpkin is individual. So I have these strips of paper right here. Now on these bits of paper, I am going to write what I am thankful for. So let's start on this one. I am thankful for Hmm, let's put on this one, I am thankful for my family. So there's one 
strip of paper. I am thankful for animals. Now these are in no particular order. <laughs> I'm not saying that any of these are more important than the others. So we're just lining up all of the things we're thankful for. I am thankful for church. Hmm. I am thankful for pumpkins. There we go. Pumpkins. Did I tell you that my chickens love pumpkins? If you cut a pumpkin in half and throw it outside, my chickens think it's a Christmas day. I am thankful for children. There. And let's do let's do two more. I'm not quite sure how many we need, so let's move this down. I am thankful for Christmas. I'm very excited for Christmas. I am thankful for Christmas. Now on this last one, now this one does need to go at the top. I am thankful for, who can read that? Jesus. <coughs> so, excuse me. I have a stapler here and as I said, you could use glue or tape if you wanted to. Move you up a little bit now. There we go. So, so you have your piece of paper here, all the strips with all of the things that you're thankful for. You're going to turn them upside down so that the writing is actually facing the table. And you are going to make a shape. So we'll start, actually, I will put you down again. We will start with a cross like shape and then. See how we're doing this? So I'm going to move them around so it looks a bit like a star. As I said, there's no particular number of strips that you need or any particular um, sizes, but try and make a shape like this because that will end up being your pumpkin shape. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to attempt, let's see if this works. Get my stapler in there, you might need a grown up's help with this. And I am going to staple, I'm trying to get all my pieces in there. There we go. Let's put a couple of staples in. Oh, one of those didn't work out. Let's try that again. So using tape or glue might even be easier. Sometimes you think a stapler is going to be easier and then it doesn't work properly. Now, here's our star shape ish as i said boys and girls each pumpkin is different so don't fret if yours does not look the same as mine or doesn't look like a perfect pumpkin each perf each pumpkin is perfect just like all of you now i am going to gather the ends of each of these up and bring them up to the top see how i'm doing that and um, when i get a few i'm going to staple them to Hold them in place and you can take them or glue them. Gather them together, put them at the top. Let's put another staple in there. Two more to go. I'm trying not to overlap my writing so because we want to be able to see what we wrote down, what we are thankful for. Right. Okay, let's get another staple in there. Now, as you can see, at the bottom, we stapled them all together when, when they were in that star shape. We gathered them all up to the top and stapled at the top so that they are gathered. Now, as you can see, it's starting to take that pumpkin shape. Now, I would like to put some leaves on the top. Now, once again, I do not have any correct color paper for this. I do not have any orange paper or green paper, so I am going to use a green crayon. And I'm going to color in part of this paper, just a part down here. 
colour it green so that I can have some green leaves. And once again, do not worry about this being perfect. Some of you will be comfortable just cutting out a leaf as is, or some of you might like to draw a picture of a leaf. So let's do two leaves right here. And we're going to cut out these leaves. Once again, ask your parents or guardians before you use scissors. So I'm going to cut them out all around the lines so we can have some nice green leaves to go on the top of our pumpkin. There's one. I'm going to do something else cool with these leaves, so keep watching. I wonder what things you're going to be writing on your pumpkin. What are you thankful for? With Thanksgiving coming up, this is a wonderful time to think of all the things you are thankful for. It can be things that you use every day, things that you see sometimes, things you like doing. It can be so many different things. Mine, as you see, are very different. I'm thankful for children. I'm thankful for all of you. And I'm thankful for my own children. So all children, so my family. I'm thankful for pumpkins because I like pumpkins. I like carving pumpkins, eating pumpkins and feeding pumpkins to my animals. In fact, speaking of animals, you might be able to hear my little birds in the background. They're cheep, cheep, cheeping. Their heat lamp broke, so I had to bring them in into the nice warm house. So they're cheeping along as I'm talking to you. Christmas. I'm thankful for Christmas. And then I am thankful for our church. It's upside down there, but you can read that. I am thankful for our church and I am thankful for Jesus. Those are the things that I chose to write down, but I'm sure that you've got many different things that you are thankful for as well. Right, let's put this aside. So we have our leaves here. On our leaves, I would like to write something from the Bible. So let's get our, I'm using the Adventure Bible, that when you come to Grace United Methodist Church, children in third grade are presented with a Bible, and this is the Bible that children are presented with. But um, if you do not have a Bible, if you do not have a Bible in your house, always let me know because I will happily just send you a Bible. Um, you don't have to do anything, you just need to let me know and then I will just send one on to you. So I'm looking in here and I'm looking in the Book of Chronicles. So I've opened up to the Book of Chronicles. And in Chronicles 16, verse 34, let me read this to you. Hmm, where is it? I should have, there we go. Give thanks. That's what we're talking about. Thanks, being thankful. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Now, that is a lot to put onto a leaf, but we can put some of that onto a leaf right so give thanks to the lord for he is good amen let's see if we can fit that onto our leaf so I've got our bible here in the book of chronicles so give thanks to the Lord. I think that's about all we'll be able to fit in. And that is okay if we can't fit all of that verse in. So we've got give thanks to the Lord. And because we want to know where we found that in the Bible, on the other leaf, leaf, I am going to write one chronicles. That's a long word, isn't it? That's why it's a good idea to write this down. One chronicles 16 verse 34 and that is how you will know where to find it in your bible now just quickly just going a little bit off topic here i want you to know that in your bibles there are lots of books in the bible 
this is a big book. Now, there's two parts of the Bible, as your Sunday school teachers, I'm sure, have told you. There's the Old Testament and the New Testament, and it can be quite confusing knowing where to find these things. So if I said to you now, look up 1 Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 34, not all of you and not many of you would just be able to go, there it is. In fact, I'm not sure I would either. So I had a bookmark in mine. At the beginning of your Bible, you can turn in the pages. Right here, there's a, like a chapter of contents, it would be called. And this will tell you the, all the books of the Bible and where to find them, which page. So if I wanted to find Chronicles, I would look, I would find out if it was in the Old Testament or the New Testament, and I would look down until I found Chronicles. Oh, there it is, 1 Chronicles, and it is on page 446. So then I will know which page to turn to. And every Bible has that. So every Bible, not just the Adventure Bible, every Bible has a um, list of contents in the beginning. So, and don't ever be embarrassed about using that. That is a good way for you to be able to find the books of the Bible. So never panic if someone asks you to find a book in the Bible. You can always turn to that list of contents and then go to the page number. Back onto the pumpkin. Here we have it. Make sure I've got it the right way up. And we are going to stick, uh, staple <laughs> the leaves onto the top of the pumpkin. Yeah, let's put you down again so we can be crafty together. I'll get that stapler in there and I'll put this one on. And then let's get this one over here. And there are our leaves on our pumpkin. Now, if you wanted to be really fancy pants, you could use either some ribbon like I have here. Let's just leave that here. Or some paper. I'm going to cut this strip a little bit thinner. There we go. And I'm going to put some green on this. Just a bit of green so we can see that this is supposed to be a green vine. You know, pumpkins grow from a vine. Have any of you picked your own pumpkins? Have you been to a pumpkin patch? That's always a lot of fun. Now, here's a trick. Now, when I say that, I don't know if it's going to work. It may work for you. If you take your strip of paper and you wind it around a pen or a pencil wind it tight 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 give it a squeeze squeeze it all up and then slide it off let's see what we got <gasps> it worked we have a curly vine look oh i'm excited about that Pumpkins look extra special with a vine attached to them. Let's put that onto the top there. Let's put this in. And there, my lovelies, is a pumpkin. This is today's craft. Mine is a bit wonky, but you know what? I've seen wonkier pumpkins, so I think that I will be forgiven for having a wonky pumpkin. And again, before you um, tape it all up together or staple it all up together, remember to write on it what you are thankful for. You don't have to choose the Bible verse that I put on there, which is give thanks to the Lord for he is good. So we put on there, give thanks to the Lord, which is in 1 Chronicles. And you don't have to choose that one. You can look in the Bible and find another verse that you'd like to put on there if you would like to. So there we have it, boys and girls. And then the next stage is to find a really cool place in your house to, uh, to place this pumpkin. That's not very easy to say. You should try saying that. A place in the house to place your pumpkin. 
So there we go. I am ready for Thanksgiving. Maybe I will put this in the middle of my table at Thanksgiving. There we are. We've got to show my vine off too. There. I hope you get to join us tomorrow for our Engage story time. I have a really cool book picked out. If you go onto our Engage Ministry Facebook page, you will be able to see tomorrow morning what that book is going to be. I also want to let you know that on Thursday, this coming Thursday, um, for the next few weeks, I'll explain in a second, we are going to be having our Advent study, our children's Advent study. There's going to be a grown-up one on Wednesdays, children's one on Thursdays, and a youth one on Sunday. So these are an Advent studies. And Advent means to come. And it's a very important journey leading up to Christmas to go on that journey and learn about Jesus and his story and you know just the journey up to the birth of Jesus and um, so I encourage all of you to join in and it will be Facebook live like we are doing right now and you can join in and interact by chatting so um, five o'clock Thursdays we will not be meeting Thanksgiving week because that would fall on the actual day of thanksgiving and i might be a little bit busy that day and so might you so we will skip that week but it will be four weeks in total so every thursday you can invite your friends if you would like to every thursday from this thursday onwards will be our advent study and i encourage you to go to the grace church website with parents or guardians permission to use the computer www graceumc.org and you can find lots of information on that website all about the Advent studies for children, youth and adults. All right boys and girls I had such a fabulous time with you this evening. I'm so relaxed now. I am. I'm so glad we got to sit down and spend this time together. I just love spending this time with you. So I I've got to go and find a place for my pumpkin right now. I've got to go and find maybe a, a table. Maybe I'll go and put it on top of the, the uh, table where those noisy quail are. Anyway, boys and girls, it's been a pleasure. I will see you all tomorrow for Engage Storytime at five o'clock. It's going to be fun. And as always, I encourage you to dress comfy or wear your pajamas. Okay, I love each and every every one of you and always feel free to get in touch with me again all my information is on the grace church website i love each and every one of you cheers and good night